Are you using the Epson F2000 direct to garment printer and not seeing the white ink flowing or is your print quality degrading? Today I'm going to show you how to change out the maintenance assembly on the Epson F2000. I've already opened the printer's side panel to save time. The maintenance assembly is located on the right hand side right here. The first thing we'll need to do is go around to the back of the printer and disconnect the three wires that are used for the maintenance assembly. You'll see the wires running through this slot located in the back. Each wire is numbered and the three wires we'll be using will be 19, 23, finally 26. Find the three numbered cables in the back and disconnect them by pinching the sides of the white connectors and separating the cable to the maintenance assembly from the one side of the connector. I like to use small pliers for more leverage and pinch ever so softly as to not break the connector and to pull the wires apart. Do this very same thing for all cables, number 19, 23, and 26. The next part to disconnect is the plastic hose on the side of the printer that leads to the waste ink hose. Just grab the end and pull it off with your fingers. Once the two hoses are separated, come around to the other side and pull the hose through the slot that you see on the side panel. Then there's two screws that we'll need to disconnect. One is on the left hand side in the front of the maintenance assembly and the other is on the side panel as you see right here. Start with the screw on the side panel and then move to the front. Once these screws are removed, we can remove the maintenance assembly, making sure that the wires slide right through the slot in the back. Then we'll take our new maintenance assembly and connect it, doing all the steps we already just did, but now we're in reverse. So gently just place it here on the front on an angle, and then we're going to take the three wires, 19, 23, and 26, and slide them through the slot in the back. On the side of the maintenance assembly is this white wheel that you see right here. You want to keep the wires away from that wheel tucked underneath so that when the wheel spins it doesn't catch any of the wires. Now we'll sit the maintenance assembly in place and reconnect the side screw and then the front screw. These screws being placed accurately is very important because the maintenance assembly itself needs to sit in its precise location. Once we're done with that, pull the hose back through its slot and reconnect it to the waste ink hose. So just a quick double check, we want to can reconnect the side screw, the side panel screw, the hose 
and make sure all the wires are tucked underneath so as not to be caught by the white wheel. The suction cap and the head cap both come with little white covers that need to be removed before operating the printer. Reconnect your cable in the back for power. Then turn on your printer. Once the printer is turned on, move your plate in back, and then you'll see your head move back into its position. The head moves back slower than normal as it reads the plastic strip behind it and the data that's printed on it, looking for its location. Once it gets to the end, it finds its place and operation continues. Then the ink circulation begins, a good sign. Once this is finished, we'll do a head cleaning of all of the nozzles to make sure the ink is flowing properly. Once you see that blue ink flowing through the tubes, you know you've got success. One last test would be to make sure that the white ink itself also gets through that tube. Once you see that blue ink turning into a milky white, you're good to go. I use this printer to print on baby clothes for my company Rapunzi. We have a large catalog of ready-made designs or you can upload an image to us and we can print custom baby onesies as well with unlimited colors. Check us out at Rapunzi.com.